know what you're gonna get in the news these days. It's all bad. Listen to this! Headline! Literature strikes again! Teenage girl crushed by her own TBR! What are we going to do about this monstrosity? There are towers of books- wait, what? Towers of books falling on teenage girls? What? This is tomorrow's newspaper. Hmm. Hello booktube! I am back for another fun video. I hate to be mean to my lovely speech class, but I am ready to do something a little bit more fun on YouTube. So, I am going to talk today about stacks of TBR. Because they are real, and they are tall. And when am I ever going to read them? The, the year is passing already so quickly. The January is over! Today is the last day of January 2017. I have one day, 24 hours less than, to finish TBR. Well, January TBR. Like, this book. I really wanted to read it. And then, like, this book. And then, like, this book. That would have been nice. And I could have finished this. And I probably should have finished this already, because I have to write a review. And then, these are all due to the library. And... I'm supposed to read this during Christmas break, and it's just too much! So, I'm going to reevaluate today and think about how I finished eight books in the month of January. Granted, they were all relatively short books, mostly about 200 pages, but eight 200 page books? That's 1600 pages I read, not to mention thousands and thousands and thousands of words. So, I think I should applaud myself. I think that I am on track, y'all, to finish 112 books or something this year. Obviously, when I go off to college and over the summer, it's going to be harder to read, but it's nice that I'm starting the year out going strong and not having to think too much about the future and about all the times I'm not going to be able to read because I'm just busy reading. So. I know that I have a lot of TBR, and the other day I went to the library, I returned a book, and I picked up three new books. That same day, while I was at the library, there was a book that you could buy, there was a bunch of books that you could buy, and I always go by and just see what's new, and I never really bought a book from there, but I found a book that I was interested in, and I paid a dollar and got a book. And then, later that day, I was sitting on someone's couch after putting the kids to bed, because I'm a babysitter, and I looked at my phone, and I looked up, and I purchased another book. I purchased another $7 book. And it's a brand new book, it's not even used, which is really, really good price on a even on a mass market paperback. So I have Mara, Daughter of the Nile, which is a book that I've been trying to collect for a really long time. And I was just so glad to be able to go to Amazon and just hit purchase and then two days later have it show up on my doorstep. It was so nice. But I have all these library books and one of my goals is to return all my library books by spring break. And after that, there will be no more library books getting unless it's a book that I really 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 need and I just have so many that I own that I need to read that I'm going to start going through those and I also want to finish the book Thief before spring break I was supposed to do this over my winter break and so as long as it's in the first half of the semester I'll be happy with it as long as it's still winter I want to read this in the winter and it's not even cold outside y'all like this morning it was 55 degrees but by the time it was lunchtime it was 20 degrees hotter it was 75 degrees. So, the Texas weather is not cooperating for me to re read my wintry books. Like, both of these were supposed to be winter reads, right? I got this one, it's kind of like snowy, probably, and, you know, it's wintry. Mist and Fury, that sounds like winter. But, I haven't done it yet. I haven't gotten them. But, by the way, I, w I am currently reading this. I want to show you some of my TB my currently reading books, not just my TBR, and 
Billy Collins is one of my favorite poets right now. Granted, he's one of the only poets I've ever read, but I read his, um, which one was it? The Trouble with Poetry and Other Poems. And that was the first one I ever read. I picked it up and read like 20 pages in Barnes and Noble. And then that was like a year ago. And then last week or so, I went and got it from the library and I read the whole thing in a day because it was, well, almost a day because it was only 80 pages. And then I read this one. Well, I'm in the middle of reading this one and it is 100 pages and those are so short, but they're so fun. And I really like poetry. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun as an English major. So let me know what you're reading in the comments below. Are you struggling with massive piles of TBR? Please tell me I'm not the only one who has massive piles of books to read and has promised people that they would read them, like the library for one, and hasn't really read them yet. And don't forget, the book was better.